Have you ever been in the situation when you've tried to tie your shoelace or button something on your shirt or try and put something into a cupboard and it doesn't work? And all of a sudden you step back and you say, I'm going to do it this time. And your mindset is positive and you complete the task. Well, your infertility journey is very like that. You have to have a very, very positive mindset. You have to want to become pregnant. You have to do everything in your power to be positive about going down that pathway. And to aid you in that, there are clinical uh, health workers in uh, clinics that can help you develop that positive mindset. Um, I deal with uh, a number of uh, clinics, and one that I particularly like is Angia, and, and they have the appropriate common sense to aid you, to guide you, to help you get a very, very positive outlook on your journey, and it is a journey. And so if the mind is positive, if the heart is there acting with the mind to give yourself a healthy body, healthy mind, healthy attitude to a whole range of things, uh, th this will be very positive for you. It includes things like uh, not smoking, losing weight, uh, exercising, doing yoga, um, uh, thinking positively, meditating, focusing on what you want to achieve, all those things are going to help you in the end achieve your dream of pregnancy and the dream of becoming a parent. So it's very important not to see the doctor as the only source of help, but to seek help outside of the doctor that gets you into that proper frame of mind when you go through the process. Yes, there will be ups and downs, there'll be disappointments, but there will be a lot of success. And that's what you have to focus on. Success and a positive attitude to get that success for you. Hi, my name's Amanda. I am a doctor of Chinese medicine. I'm from Angia Acupuncture and Yoga. I'm here today to be able to educate patients about the IVF journey. We support women going through natural conception, through the IVF process and also donor egg. Currently 90% of our patients at the clinic are going through an IVF cycle. Um, we also have patients doing the donor egg program. It's a real honour to be able to work alongside Dr. Nicola Lologist. Um, we also see, we've seen such an increase in infertility. We have a lot of patients uh, that go misdiagnosed and when they come to see Nick, we've actually found out that they have the natural killer cells which has been affecting their fertility. I'm really passionate about supporting women on their journey um, through fertility. The ladies that come and see us at the clinic, we have a really personable approach. We totally understand the whole IVF process. We're really well educated about the medication that they're on. We have a really close working relationship with Dr. Nick. And I think that's really um, forms a great part of success is that everyone's on the same page. We understand where they are in their journey. And it's also too, we really support them on an emotional level. They can come in and they can just let down their barriers and speak openly about their whole experience. We even have a box of tissues um, that sits next to me um, because most women that do come in um, end up you know, shedding tears. And we also have a philosophy, we offer hugs. So it's a really personable um, approach. And I think the greatest thing that they get out of it is, well, we all want them to leave with a baby. We want them to be pregnant, you know, having that gift, that miracle of life. That's what makes us smile. Um, so one of the biggest things contributing to infertility we see is stress. Um, and so whether you're trying naturally or going through the IVF process, we know how stressful that can be and we understand that. So we offer mind-body techniques at the clinic. We take the ladies through breathing exercises. We offer meditation and we also offer fertility yoga. And by employing these techniques, it really allows women to connect into their bodies, um, to really understand their bodies and what's happening during each stage. To give you an idea of the relationship that we have with our patients is that 
when they're going for their egg collection, we send them a text message in the morning wishing them luck. And then once they've been for their collection, they'll send us a message letting know how many eggs they've collected. So we get super excited when our clients send us a message saying they've got five eggs, they've got 10 eggs, they've got 15 eggs. So we have a really personable relationship with our clients. So when they're going for their transfers um, and their egg collections, they'll send us a message, a text message saying that they've collected five eggs, they've collected 10 eggs. Um, also to when clients are ovulating, they'll send me a message in the morning saying, I've got a smiley face on my ovulation pea stick. And I'll be like, okay, have sex today. That's how close um, our relationship is. And I think that by having that really close understanding relationship kind of helps to improve their overall success rate. So having a, having a miscarriage and having a blighted ovum, we really understand both sides of the journey. And so we're able to walk our patients, essentially it's like we're holding their hands through the not so good with the good. So part of the philosophy that we use at the clinic is really about educating our patients. It's educating them about the IVF process, what's involved. It's educating them about the right foods to be eating to be able to nourish your body. We also educate our patients about having adequate sleep, about lifestyle factors, reducing stress. I think these play such an important part and it's an overall picture that we're, that we're looking at. So we're offering a holistic um, support and it's also towards the emotional side of this journey. So having a regular meditation practice, it's also to it's having positive affirmations. You know, there's so much mind talk and our thoughts we have over something like 70,000 thoughts a day and if you've had repeated failed cycles, it's very easy to get into this negative mind talk. So it's offering our patients and teaching our patients how they can start to change their perception and having positive affirmations as such. So looking at what's working in your body um, rather than focusing on the negative of what's not working. So I think these really form um, an important part and it's also being able just to have someone that you can talk to. You know, this is a very isolating journey and most people that are going through this don't really share, share it with their friends or talk about it with their family. It's like they're dealing with it one-on-one -on -one with their partner. So when they come into the clinic, they can just sit down and they can talk and they can share all their experiences, the good with the bad. Hence, that's why we have tissues on table. Um, most women, you know, when they come into the clinic, we give them hugs. <laughs> it's a really personable approach. And um, I think the feedback that we've had is that women can come in and they feel like they can just be themselves.